Hi and welcome to my seventh Business Objects Web Intelligence tutorial and today I'll be covering contacts operators. We'll be uh, building a report like this and we'll go over um, the for all contacts operator, the for each, the in, the in break, in report and then I'll be trying to create a meaningful variable show you how, to, how you can use it in contacts operators in practice. Okay, we're gonna start off by creating a new query based on the eFashion universe. And for my objects, I will select year, quarter, month, city, category, and my sales revenue. Okay, run the report. Okay, and I'll get rid of this and the title again. And I'll build a table containing year, quarter, oh, year, quarter and sales revenue. Okay, so the first contacts operator I will uh, demonstrate is the for all uh, operator. And let me build it first uh, and then explain how it works. Remove this. Okay, four or quarter. Okay, so the for all operator will remove a dimension from the calculation context. So in this case, I will remove the quarter dimension from the calculation context, which means business objects when calculating this formula pretends this dimension doesn't exist so we get to see the totals for uh, year 2004 and 2005 and 2006. The next one I'll be covering is the for each operator and the for each operator will add a dimension to the calculation context so let me show you how it works for each Sales revenue for each city. Okay, so what this uh, what this one does is it will show you the maximum sales revenue for each city and although we don't show city in our report in the background as part of the calculation business objects will show the highest amount of revenue for each city the next one we're going to cover is the in operator and the in operator will allow us to calculate a calculation contacts uh, from scratch and let me just show you how it works in and here I say sales revenue and then I say in year or I can select in year and then quarter okay so um, just to do a recap because these are the, th the three main operators for all will remove a dimension from the calculation contacts for each will add a dimension to the calculation contacts and with the in operator you can completely create your calculation context from scratch so we've covered all the theory now and the next thing I will try to do is show you how to use context operators in practice um, so I'm going to prepare my report for this uh, and insert it total for revenue what I'm going to show you is the amount of revenue uh, or the percentage of revenue that each quarter contributed to the total for that year so I'm going to select my sales revenue divided by the sales revenue for all and now we specify the, the 
dimension we want to ignore and that is quarter and apply a bit of formatting okay so this you can see here this will show me the t the what each quarter contributed to the total amount of revenue for each year the last two contacts operators i would like to cover are variations on the in operator and those are in report and in break let me show you so if i select here in report it will show me the total amount of revenue within the report and you can see it's 36,000 and then we've got the in break and let me drag that here in break and that will show me the total amount of revenue for each of the breaks Okay, that's it. These are contacts operators and uh, I hope you enjoyed it and stay tuned for my next tutorial. Thank you.